Welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. You know, we've been fortunate, and a lot of automakers have been bringing their concept cars by the shop for us to take a look at and for you to look at as well. And uh, this is the latest from Toyota. You know, I've kind of been on Toyota the last couple of years because they make, we all know the build quality, they make terrific cars and the Camry and the Prius, but I, you know what, you're watching this website, you know what we need. We need something like this. You know, we all miss the Supra, we all miss the Toyota GT, and this is the FT1. Uh, this, boy, this is a fantastic looking car. Let's meet uh, the two gentlemen, or two of the gentlemen responsible, uh, Alex Shen and Bill Tchaikovsky. Come on in, you guys. Now, Alex, you're the exterior designer? Chief designer, yes. Chief designer, okay. Nice and to Bill, meet you. you do interior? Interior, yeah. Okay. I was the manager on this. <laughs> well, nice work, gentlemen. I, I like this even more than the LFA. You know, the LFA I like, but to me it was a little, I think everybody's complaint was maybe it was a little generic. It didn't look supercar enough, you know, considering you had that fantastic V10 engine or whatnot. This is my favorite piece here. Yeah. I just love this. It's very Italian looking. Um, yet it looks like a Japanese car, but it was designed here in America. Isn't that correct? That is correct. Okay. Uh, it was initiated at Kelty in Newport Beach. Explain uh, what Kelty is. Kelty is an advanced um, design studio for Toyota, and okay. we're located in Newport Beach. And this year happens to be our 40 year anniversary. Okay. Um, we are the first studio that opened up in Southern California, a oh. satellite studio. So, oh, cool. Yeah. Now, do they, do the big guys in Japan kind of leave you guys alone? Are you guys, the island way off there in California, just design something and come to us when you're done? Or do they give you parameters? In this case, we've been proposing a car like this for a few years now. And so happens, um, we're, in, we're in a mood where we're looking for a dynamic, emotional, and an exciting design. And this time, um, we had the yes. So yeah. yeah, please go ahead. You guys, you guys decide what you want to do with this car. You know, it's funny because sometimes car companies get into this mindset like Ford. Before they did the Ford GT, a lot of people said, no one's going to buy a $150,000 Ford, you know. But if you design something exciting that people like, there it is. A Nissan with the GTR, a $100,000 Nissan. That doesn't got to be crazy. Oh, wait a minute. Look how powerful and fast this is. And this could be the answer, Toyota's answer to those questions, couldn't it? We designed it to be. Um, yeah. I think... Um, Toyota as a brand obviously are known for quality, mm -hmm. um, but I think what we're lacking is obviously the emotional, you know, the, the kind of um factor that, that people are looking for. And on top of that, um, affordability. We want yeah. this car to be affordable and obtainable this is an by approachable people. approachable vehicle. Yeah. yeah, and it exists in <coughs> Japan because I was in Japan, I went to the Toyota Museum, I was honored to meet with Toyota, and I got to drive the convertible. Uh, Toyota GT they used in the James Bond movie. Oh, wow. How it cool was, is that? It was so tiny. I mean, I, I had to sit like this. It was so tiny. You know the story, right? They right. cut the roof off so Sean Connery could fit right. in it. That's He's the only thing right, right, right. But I was, I mean, it was, I was like driving like this. It was like crazy. But this is a full-size car. Well, let's go through this a little bit. This looks, uh, <clears> has some <throat> Japanese in it, has some Italian. It looks like a really, it looks like an amalgamation of sort of international designs a little bit here. It looks a little Enzo-y in the front here, and I mean that in a complimentary way. Oh, thank you. Uh, you know, in, in terms of styling, obviously Toyota's Japanese company. Mm -hmm. we're, we're based in California, so we're going to have that kind of um, merge of two tastes, and we do want to make it look like a Toyota. Um, I think what Toyota means is, you know, a, a certain sense of clarity. Right. So the surfaces are very full and very um, clear. Well, I like this here, this kind of kabuki theater looking thing. It looks like, uh, you know, it looks, it looks, you know, it's funny. When you look at my Oldsmobile Tornado, you go, I know nothing about cars. I know that's an American car. When you look at an MG, you go, well, or an Aston Martin, that, that can only be mm. English, you know. Whereas this, this front end, it looks more Japanese than Italian. But this, this, all this here, it just looks like, you know, those masks the guys wear when they do that whole deal? <laughs> I mean, that's what I, I kind of like. I kind of like when I see a, a national influence in, 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 in design. Uh, is this all, I assume this is all functional, Imagine, right? Pulling the air as it comes through the brakes. Yeah, correct. I think the intention is to make an authentic sports car and, and mainly is try to show the technology or, or the fact that we need cooling, we need airflow. So it's airflow management. So a lot of the design is showing airflow management. Now here's a question, this might not make any sense. But a few years ago, uh, many years ago now, when people first started designing with computers, everything looked angular. This looked like it was designed sort of by hand, more so. Is that, would that be fair to say? Am I yeah, a keyword close? probably yeah, leads to that. 
Yeah, um, I think you touched on that exactly. I think we wanted this car to look like it was hand built. Yeah, I mean but, it has, you know, yeah. this 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 is such a beautiful curve, and you know, if you're a regular person, not a designer, and that looks easy, try drawing that and look how <laughs> awkward and ugly yours looks, because I know how mine would look. I mean, that's a real just that has a, a beautiful flow to it. Is this a design that could? You know, because of safety things now, you have to be able to hit pedestrians, they got to get up laughing, and there's all these kind of rules now. I mean, is this something that could make production, a, a design like this, or is that just, you know, with the bean counters go, too complicated, too down to, because it, it really makes... It, it, it's iconic. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it, it's possible we have to probably add a, um, a safety release, you know, some... Right. The, the lamp buckets probably uh, have to be slightly larger. Right. Um, but, you know, we, we keep that in mind um, that we, we have to show that there's potential in, in production. So the entire car, there's, there's challenges ahead, obviously, right. if we're going to make this car, but it's, it's, I think it's possible. You know, usually when I see these glass hoods in cars, I don't like them because they're usually too, too small, the windows. Too, whereas this really encompasses, you can almost see everything in here, the struts and all. Nicely done. Tell me about that element. Is it, I suppose it looks good with the black and red. And I guess if you did go to production, this would always be black under the hood, right? Just so yeah, possibly. We would like to keep the, you know, the, uh, the image of that as much as possible if we ever go into a production car. But I think it's just the, the idea of the, the engine is the heart and soul of the car. Right. And, it, and it's always the crowd drawer when the hood goes up. Everybody wants to see what that looks like. So we, we thought, you know, we should just show it off. There's a, a little fun feature here, just kind of, you, you pointed to the engine bay. Right. So when you, you look here, you see the, the brace, it actually protrudes through into the interior. Oh, and, I see, right there, look right. at that, yeah. So we, we introduced this idea that, you know, sports cars are this kind of real personal selfish purchase. So each one of these would be hand numbered, and it would have, you know, this is my car. So you can, like, right. somebody walks to the parking lot, they lean over and they go, hey, there's Jay's car. They right. recognize that. Right, right, cool. So kind of a neat way to kind of say, look, this is Yeah, I didn't realize personal. that went into the compartment there. Very nice. And that, that, that can meet safety issues. That's not a problem, yeah. probably, huh? Right. Okay. Let's come around here. Let's, let's go around this side. And of course, this nose will be controversial. Obviously, your air intakes are each side. Are there Correct. Would you envision twin radiators here? Is that what you'd have? Yeah, for this design, we, we envision uh, twin radiators. We okay. wanted to get a pretty expressive face and a nose, right. you know, and, and I think that, that will make the car stand out in terms of great, image. Great yeah. statement with the fans. Yeah, yeah. with the, okay. the lower diffuser. You probably noticed before the rear wing was up. This is what it looks like when it's flush. Boy, it integrates nicely. You can't even tell, you know, because sometimes they hang an inch right. or two above. Mm -hmm. Nicely done here. Uh, let's put the wing up. Good day, Mr. Bond. <laughs> you know, I'm very impressed with these struts and how strong they look. I mean, they give a real feel of quality with the, instead of a single a support, you have a dual support here. Uh, uh, guys know what there's a piston in here yeah that that looks i mean that looks like it could actually take some g-force because you know i think real car guys can tell a lot of times you see cars and they have some stupid little thing and you go no anything over 100 miles an hour it's, it's, gonna, it's not gonna work it's gonna break off whereas this has a real sense of quality a real sense of strength to it it really looks it looks high tech very nicely done yeah that's i like put it down again let's see how, <laughs> see how nicely it integrates look at that uh, I'm trying to figure out why I like this so much. I don't know whether it's the curve or the way it fl the way it matches. It doesn't stand proud. A lot of times I see rear windows and they they just sit up a little bit. You see all the seals. Yeah, yeah. this almost looks like if I couldn't see through it, I think it was painted on. You know, that's what I like. It has that nice. It has a nice. I like this big this curve here. Nicely done. Will it, would this open as well? Yeah, you know, we imagine the uh, the hatch will open in the glass only uh, right. because we have a. Um, retractable wing. Um, it really sets up the, the fluid motion from the front to the back and the big shoulders and the really proud stance or, or stable stance. Yeah, this is the prettiest view right here because you get to see that uh, rear view mirror. And these are, these are nice as well. I notice those lights are on, so it gives sort of a, rather than the whole thing just lighting up red, yeah. you have three, what, LEDs in there? Three Correct, lights? yeah. yeah. Um, all the lighting on the car is LED. Um, yeah, this in fact is my favorite view. Um, I think this is a view that most people will see um, every day driving behind this. Right. I Hopefully see. never in front. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. Can you run that the real light that low, or does it have to, production? Would probably have to be here, wouldn't it? Actually, uh, you know, I think the the location is correct. Even on the current FRS, we have a brake light low okay. on a low position. So yeah, correction uh, location wise. FT one. What does the FT stand for? Uh, future Toyota and the one. Future Toyota and the one. Okay. Yeah. 
Now see this with that LFA motor, oh my God. <laughs> that would be just, that would be the dream car. Sign you up. Because I was, I went, when I went to Japan and I saw them building the LFA and, and how they weave the carbon fiber and the amount of expertise and handcrafted workmanship, it was so impressive. But the car itself doesn't pop the way, I think when they designed a Japanese one, just a little more subdued, you know? Whereas this really just, just pops out at you. Yeah, it's a fantastic looking car. Can I sit in it? Yeah, absolutely. So as you go in, just uh, be careful. Yep. Nicely done. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now, I notice these seem to favor the passenger. So yeah, the idea on this is that, I mean, you can look down on them, but the, the angle is meant to give them some sense that there's uh, some passenger favor, but mostly this is all about the driver. Right. You know, it's the ultimate selfish vehicle. It's meant for you. <laughs> That's funny. What do we have here? Chrome or brushed aluminum? What do we, we call have? it? It's kind of a black chrome. So in this space, you can see you've got we call it like the slingshot. This is the slingshot architecture. You're the projectile in this slingshot, right. and everything is within your fingertips. Be it you know you have the screen here, you have oh, the I dock okay. here, you have the heads up meter, which actually projects it forward. We did a bunch of research down at Miramar, uh, researching heads up displays. Okay. You know, it's it's a nice size car inside. It doesn't feel. It looks enormous mm -hmm. when you just see it without anything around it, but. It's about the size of a Celica or a Supra. It's, it's it? yeah. you know, generally inside. This is nothing out of the ordinary. Ash we did kind of fun things like with a fuel meter standalone. And I noticed the uh, aluminum pedals there, and they're they're floor hinged. Yes, nicely done. Yeah, the labor of love. Yeah, yeah, labor of love. There's a sense of uh, um, you know craftsmanship and sculpture throughout the entire car, and you know we focus on very beautiful curvaceous lines that that draw you know emotion that, that makes people want to really just walk around the car and look at it. Is this the only one there is? Currently, oh. yes. Currently, yes. Oh, cool. What if you guys want to leave it here? It's not <laughs> <laughs> we were just saying it looks so it nice looks, in your garage. Yeah, it's yeah. perfect. It's a, it's a great, great piece. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, now, folks, I'd like to get your comments on this. Uh, in our comment section, tell us what you think of what the guys did here. I think they did a terrific job. And let's get Toyota to build this thing. Look, I like the Corolla. I like the Prius. But we've got to have something a little... See you next week.